Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Damn D, POV, and we are back with another video. Now, today we got Kwame Brown, the big homie, talking about Kylie Jenner. Uh, he, she, she, he spoke out on uh, transgender athletes should not be able to compete against bi biological women. And I 100% agree with this because, listen, um, I don't care how people live their life. Look, if you are a man and you want to become a woman because that's what you identify as, hey, knock yourself out. Live your life. L live your live your truth, all right? If you're a woman and you want to become a man, hey, do what do whatever makes you happy. But at the end of the day, um a man that is transcending or transforming or 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 is a transgender woman should not be able to compete with a woman. Because at the end of the day, I don't care if that man can grow boobies. I don't care if that man can, you know, cut off his pita whacker and make it into, you know, a little split. I don't care if 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 he can throw on a wig or take some pills to change his voice. Okay, I understand. But at the end of the day, look, man, you have a higher testosterone than a regular woman. And that testosterone makes you faster, taller, stronger, quicker, bigger. Just men are athletically gifted. We are we are more athletic than women. That's not being sexist. It's just it's, it's just facts. Men are stronger than women. Some. Some men are. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of w women out there that can beat up a man. Hey, trust me. I, I know. I seen it. You know what I'm saying? But the majority of the time, right? The majority of the time, men are stronger, faster, taller, bigger, everything than women because of the bone density and the testosterone that we have, right? It's, it's, it just, it is what it is, right? So that being said, if you allow a man that transformed themselves into a woman to play sports, that transgender person can easily beat that woman and potentially put that woman in arms danger. Because if this is a combat sport, if this is a combat sport like boxing football, basketball, a contact sport, that transgender person can easily hurt that woman. Why? Because you're stronger, faster, taller, everything. So y'all, in my opinion, if if this is something that is, you know, um, going around and they legalize this and they allow transgender people to compete with women there's going to be a lot of injuries a lot of really bad injuries because it's because it's just it is what it is that transgender person is still going to be a man at the end of the day and that's my opinion all right so other than that i'm gonna let kwame brown speak on this and then we're gonna wrap up the video let's go we got caitlin jenner who spoke out about transgender athletes uh competing against women against biological women and there's a lot of controversy around that uh shout out to gravity takeout because i'm going to play his video and i actually agree with gravity takeout as well about how caitlin jenner is a little bit hypocritical because uh you didn't mind being the woman of the year after only being a woman for an actual year and I think that fucks up and disrespects mama's cooking uh, because my mom went all the way through the process to shape and mold and have me in her bun and not drink and not do coke and not do all the things that can destroy a baby. And she did all the right things to have me and raise me up in the right way. And that's the job of a woman. Uh, and only women can do that. And only women can give mama's cooking that discernment that was ordained by God, woman over children, uh, that nobody else can can go against that. Uh, we can have our opinions about it. And this is just my opinion. But I think it's essential to have a woman's touch 
And that's why God created woman. And although, you know, Caitlyn Jenner said what he said, I do think I, I agree with him. I stand with him in saying that I do not agree with uh, transgender uh, uh, women being able to compete against biologically born women. It, there is an advantage. No matter how much you viral it down, no matter what you do, uh, bone density, the science is still the science. The DNA is still the DNA. You can dig up their bones. So many people can say whatever. You can dig up the bones of this these individuals and it will show that they are biological men, no matter what you do. And so um, just the scholarships and the records that it's going to break uh, for women, just young girls, just imagine. And I have I have four daughters. Just imagine that if they're, all of them are playing sports and all of them are, are trying to compete at something and then they're all competing against men. Don't you think men can sway the narrative? What happens to the guy on the varsity team that never get in the game? And he just want to say, you know what? I'm just going to identify as a girl in high school. And then in college, I can viral down. But in high school, they just can identify and they can play women's sports. They're going to be the biggest, strongest, fastest girl on any team that they play on. So I just want to get people's opinion. After we see Brother Gravity's takeout video, I just want to hit the link. I want you guys to hit the link. And I just want people to not disrespect anybody or any group. But we're just asking. We just want to know, is that the will of the people? Is that what we want? Um, because what I was taught is that you can't hit a woman. You can't do this. You can't do that because you're a man. So you mean to tell me with my frame, my bone structure, my density, my how I am right now, you're saying you can give me a pill that I could take in a wig and I can start fighting women? Is that what you guys are saying? Cause goddamn, I'm finna go fight. Uh, who who the champion right now at UFC? I'm gonna fight Amanda Nunez in two years. Who know who she gonna lose? Shoot, I'm gonna fight the the who the heavyweight champion in the women's anything. Matter of fact, I need to go. How how much the WNBA paying? What I gotta take to get to the WNBA? I got a bad hip, bad knee, but hell, I'm seven foot, and I know I could just bump into somebody. They gonna fall, and then I can probably turn and dunk it. <laughs> what the fuck? Are we serious? Are we thinking about what we're doing to little girls at the same time? That's all I want to ask people. Are we thinking about, because everything that has a cause has an effect. Are we thinking about the effect on the little girls? The ones that are aspiring to be Ronda Rousey, Leda Ali, the ones that are aspiring to be Lisa Leslie, Tamika Ketchings, the ones that are inspiring to be anyone that they look up to. And now they're going to be competing against boys who turn into to transgender girls. So I want you guys opinion. I'm just asking. We have to be able to ask questions. If this is a free society, we should be able to ask these questions and have a conversation about it. Or if we can't, there's this thing called the go along, get along gang that I've been alluding to this entire time. If we can't have conversation, if there's no safe space, if everything is going to be able to be labeled as misinformation, if everything is going to be able to be labeled as toxic because someone else says so, and we can't have the conversation, that, my friend, is a go along, get along gang. That's how you control people, uh, not allowing them to speak and share ideals. That is the go along, get along game. When it's you can say what you want, but that comma, but is the go along, get along game. This is the United States of America, people. It's supposed to be free for you and me. We're supposed to be able to have life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. 
That's what so many people fought and died for. In D.C., they got the all-in cemetery. It's soldiers that died for our rights to be free, whether you like it or not. When you start taking away freedom from somebody, that is a slippery slope. That is a slippery slope you, you, that, you, that we all going down. We all have the first freedom and that we should all have a right to speak. And we don't have a right to speak at this point. It comes with a but. Now you don't have a right to your body. It comes with a but. You have a right to not do the donut shop, but now you can't go in any restaurant. We're going to make it to where you can't go in any grocery store. And now you can't have a job. You could be on Section 8, but allegedly I think I snapped. If you don't get this donut shop, you and your kids can freeze to death. You can't die of this donut shop, but you can freeze to death because you don't go along to get along. Ain't that better? <laughs> Ain't that better? R.I.P. Patrice O'Neal. Ain't that better? I'm not going to let you succumb to this virus, but if you don't do what I say and go along to get along, you can't work, you can't eat in a restaurant, you can't have a drink at the bar, but you can go in Walmart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can go in Walmart, go in there, buy up stuff, spend it on up. But you're not going to work. Uh -uh, you ain't going to get no job. You can get on a plane. Go and get on a plane. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's certain areas. You can, yeah, go and get on a plane. I want you to travel. I want you to travel now. Boost the economy. Yeah, boost the economy. Travel. <laughs> this shit is a simulation. It's a game. And it's scary how we participate. It's scary how we participate in this game. When we try to say... We, the people, is because we supposed to be making sure they, them over there, they do the will of the people. But they done made that a racist term. Yeah, it's group think. That's why they give us so much internet. And when Metaverse come, it's over with. The niggas going to be in their phone. The niggas ain't going to look up when they... When, I done hit my head the other day. I was walking, looking at my phone, looking at something. Bop! Bust my goddamn head. So it's going to be more car accidents. It's going to be more people getting run over because they're going to be buying property in Metaverse and shit. They're going to be driving their car, looking up Metaverse stop, running into motherfuckers. Allegedly, I think I snapped. Buying goddamn on pornos on Metaverse and driving. But let's get into this video, man. Shout out to Gravity Takeout. All right, man. So there we go, man. Salute to the homie Kwame Brown, man. And I agree with everything he just said, man. Uh, basically, look, uh, this is not no shots thrown at anybody. Hey, man, live your true life. Live your real life. Do what you do to make you happy. But when it comes down to this contact sport, especially a comeback sport, Back to ball, football, boxing, any type of contact, right? That should not be allowed because that transgender person can seriously injure a woman very badly, very, very badly. And I don't think that should be um, accepted. And that's my only thing, man. Um, if you allow a transgender person to get in a ring and do MMA and do boxing, that can lead to some serious, serious, serious injuries. Maybe fatal. Maybe. I mean, can you imagine just, oh, well, yeah, nah. I don't agree with that. But y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man. It's your boy, DPOV. Signing out, baby. Peace.